Hi folks, John the Man Guy. Today, Molly needs a track rod end, or so I thought. Um, let's have a look at it. And a few things came to the fore. There we have the track rod end. And you see the dust cover has gone. Uh, the end itself seems to be okay, not wobbling or not, so the ball joint seems okay. So do you need another track rod end? Well, I bought one. Um, and here we are. Got it ready from ESM. Very handy. However, before you do that, have a look and see the track red end on this Morris. It's got a bleed nipple. Is that most unusual? Look at that. Um, right, you'll need to. First, I did have a go at trying to take the thing off. And of course, you go through the usual procedure of you taking your track red end off, of counting the number of turns when you take it off and turn it and put it back using the same number of turns. There'll be, it'll be clearly marked, I think, because it's so mucky and oily around here. There'll be a clear demarcation, but you could put some sort of white tape or paint or something on the join so you'll know exactly where it originally was. But before you do all that, make sure it's not just the dust cover you need to replace um, and if you look on the ESM you can actually buy the dust covers on these things yeah most unusual a £2.90 plus packaging plus VAT comes about £7 something so uh, just a little tip right a few of the things to take on board when you're doing this you'll need a joint separator something like that is useful I've found that works probably the best now, let me show you. There you go. There you go. And how it does, it slips in, tap it in just under the ball there. And that end, that end goes on the end of the, the big bolt, the shaft. And then you just basically screw that down with a ratchet until the thing separates. <laughs> People say you can bang it with a hammer and all this sort of thing, but I, I, didn't have much, I never had much luck with that. Um, okay, now some things to watch out for. I actually, be careful not to damage the thread on the bottom of the, um, <coughs> of the shaft. Uh, I had a terrific job getting the, getting the castellated uh, nut on again. So this is another castellated nut. Uh, the other one was, I damaged it, actually using it and hammering on it, damaged it. So uh, take that in mind. Uh, so I had to search around and find something that would actually go in. Um, so if you do damage, I did damage also by using this thing. I, I did take this off, but I seem to have damaged the, uh, the actual thread. Are on the inside so putting it back uh, the bleed nipple back was a real problem so what I did um, I used an M6 uh, tap and die thing and I just using uh, I just grounded in slightly just to take the top bit off uh, which has obviously been slightly damaged I found one of the uh, angle on the tap sets uh, let's see if we can find it. Oh, that was a similar thread. Have I got it in here? No, oh, no, it's in there. I won't get it out. One of the tap sets, I've got loads of them, it was a similar thread to the actual bleed nipple. And I was able to, after faffing around for ages trying to get the bleed nipple back, I was able to just put the, uh, the tap in and just do the first bit uh, using... Uh, handy spanner just to take off that damaged edge and then I was able to get the bleed nipple back again so that was a relief okay also what's handy to have as well if you're going to again not usually used on modern cars but here I have oh, a terrible mess this garage I'll have to tidy it up soon it's very therapeutic tidying the garage I tell you, that's one of these. Very handy. So that clips in over the nipple. Uh, you just push those back. Let me show you. 
clip those back, clips over the nipple, and then you pump it in. And that works. And to be honest, it's the first time I've used it. That seemed to work very well. Anyway, long and short of it, all this effort was I've ordered from ESM uh, a dust jacket or dust cover uh, for that. And I'll be taking this apart again. Um, oh, the other thing has happened, I nearly forgot. In this castellated nut, of course, holding one of the reasons the castellating is you can put a split pin in, which holds it. Getting the split pin out uh, can be an issue. And it's kind of obvious, but what you do is make sure the two ends of the split pin are in line and ease them out if you like. It's only very soft metal, so you might even break off. Ease them out and then uh, tap them slightly and you get a protrusion of the uh, the head, the round head, and one way or another, you can I use these things, and you can just get something into the eye and then pull it out, and that cast, then you can get your castellated nuts off. Yeah, so what end started as a simple job, as usual, took a bit longer than expected, but I'm, I'm waiting for the rubber to come. Now I've done it, I'll be able to just fit that on. And uh, I have re-greased, and uh, it seems to have filled it okay. So there you go. Okay, another one. Bye for now.